What's going on guys? Anthony here again with 954 Outdoors. And uh, I got my buddy Frank with me, FDN Fisher. So today, we're at iCast. So this is our first iCast. Um, we're gonna be uh, showing you guys all the new products, you know, all the demos. You guys are gonna get a first look at everything that's coming out. And it's gonna be great. So we're gonna go ahead and do our registration, get our badge now, and uh, let's get right into it. We got our badges, Snook Snacks Pro Staff. So here we go. All right, guys. So we're finally going into ICAST. We got the crew, the Snook Snacks crew. Let's get it. Let's get we it. Got Kevin. That's like we have Josh, Vince, Fish and Navi, baby. Fish and Fowl Flora, Canal yeah. Cowboy, oh, Navi yeah. Outdoors. All right, guys. So you're going to get a first look at all these new products. I'm excited. I'm stoked, I'm, I'm man. Stoked, We're yeah. about to go see the new stuff. Yep. I gotta go right to R&R &R so I can secure my live through baits. Go get your hands on them. You brought a bunch to give away, so I gotta make sure some of those go to me. Yeah, I got a box so that's all you. All right, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Check that out. Holy wow. Jesus. <laughs> Look at all the Z Men. Oh, we gotta check this out. Alright, come on. Let's take a look at this. Oh, Ke Kevin ran straight to Z Men. So these are the new one there. Uh, all these uh, jerk shads and such. Some shrimps in there. Alright guys, so right here, this is the new Z-Man Molotron. I believe that's a 6 inch. So it's a line through lure. We'll get a closer look at it. Man. And um, we've got Shane with me uh, for Z-Man. And he's going to show off the uh, new Molotron. Yeah, what's up guys? So we got a uh, we got a new line through Molotron here. So we got it in a couple sizes. We got a six inch and a four and a half inch. But you see these line throughs are great because anytime you're catching big fish like tarpon or especially snook, something's gonna jump and try to shake that hook. What's gonna happen is this guy's just gonna slide up so that way they can't use the weight of the bait to spit the hook. You keep them hooked a lot better. It's got a nice internal harness, pops right in there. Once it's in, you don't have to worry about that hook like moving back and forth. Like it's really locked in there. It's got a really kind of subtle, slow, I think it's a rate of fall of eight. So it goes down eight feet. No, Jonathan in 10 just seconds. comes running up. I didn't even know it was him. <laughs> Jonathan just comes running up. You can see just a real kind of slow wedge tail. It always comes right back up. You don't have to worry about it like rolling over or anything like that. So for you guys that are fishing for, I mean, big snook, big tarp, and things like that that are really trying to spit the hook, I mean, this is going to be the deal. Oh, sorry. Is that the The new Livingston lures. <laughs> oh, guys. Livingston and Goliath. Oh, you can grab him. Yeah, you guys can take him. Anyone you 
Do you have questions? This is very nice. Yeah, the question is, how has anyone caught a slip on one of these yet? Snook, I have it personally. No, we'd love to be the first. We'd love to be the first. This is sick. <laughs> Tell me about this, man. So there's different sizes. We give you a, we give you a product description too. So there's a balance transfer system you pop. So you can change your weight. So depending on what's the seat grade you're designed for, if you're snook fishing, right? You want to slow. Slow. Pop this out. You pop this pen. See these balls. Toss the balls. Oh, very cool. You can so you can change that. You have the option, the availability to do so. That's a nice feature about that. So how does that um, affect the action? One, you can you so nice, slower if you want to slower like ball the balls in them. It's quick. I mean, you can walk this easily. Really quick. You want speed? You want you want speed? And then it has a pretty. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, a, a pretty small angle, which gives you that nice wide glide, right? He's a small guy. Small guy. I always like to throw the biggest one possible. That's, that's just what I like to do. And there's bigger, bigger baits. You guys have bigger ones than this? Sick, dude. Viper. The Livingston Lure Viper. Nice. Viper and Venoms. Look at that thing. Um, that is like... Bigger than my whole hand. Yeah. yeah, get a picture. I'm using it in salt water. I have smaller ones for reds and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I fish a lot of Shane and Nathan at the Berkeley booth and they're going to tell us about the new soft glide bait, the Berkeley Nessie. Yeah, this thing is awesome. So obviously, like you said, it's a soft glide bait. It's not your traditional hard glide bait. Um, it's actually skippable. comes in three different sizes, a five, a seven, and a nine. Like I said, you can skip it under bushes, trees, docks, things like that. It's not going to wear you out throwing it all day because it is soft. Hand painted colors. Um, real natural looking, honestly. I got to throw it the other day and you can do a lot of th different things with it. You can twitch your rod and almost walk into place, or you can reel it pretty quick and it still glides. Uh, so if you're herring, fishing, or something like that, you can actually burn it and it still glides pretty well. That's awesome. Thank you for your time. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be very ideal, especially for skipping in the mangroves, you know, getting right in the strike zone. I mean, it's very hard to, to skip, you know, any other regular glide bait. So that soft glide bait would uh -oh. definitely, definitely be very good for that. We do a swim test. Yeah, it turns around basically almost fully. Yeah, how is it on a burn? When do they come out? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Nice look at this. Savage. This is what we're looking for. Ten hours. Ready? You don't need to spend time to sit and rig it up. You just put it on the wall and you go. Yeah, and this this takes, you know, it's done. Yeah, some pictures. The panic popper. Yeah, the bigger one. And then the smaller one too. Water sink for that power. Hold on. Oh, we got all the gizzards. You know, we got we love the gizzards. Forty. Line through pipe. Guys, look at the size of this lure. This is huge. This is almost like half my arm. There is this big freaking guy. And look how big that lure is. Dude, that's like half of my arm, if not the majority of it.
That's crazy. What do you think? Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. That's like Northeast tuna, right? So no new It was uh, inspired by the California tuna fishing over there. Okay. Uh, so um, in the beginning, we want to make it for like California style kite, kite fishing. Right. Yeah. And uh, we thought that's a little bit of a niche in a niche. Yes. yes. And uh, we tested and fine tuned and adjusted, and you can just troll it. What's the right. difference? Yeah. When you troll it, it skips. Does it? Yeah. It so comes out of the water like a. Yeah, a little bit. Flying. This video is a bit of a mixed stuff, but you will see in a, in a minute. You'll see how in, in the video how it works. It looks pretty awesome. And uh, in addition, we have a really, really great bluefin tuna angler over in Spain, oh, fishing wow. in the Mediterranean. They're really big bastards. They go up the African coast, take it right into the Mediterranean. There, there they got like the, the six, seven hundred pound fish, and uh, he's been a part of the development process as well. So it's been tested in California and also in Europe. Um, I'm having a few bites. Brand new right here for iCast. There are seven of these in the world at the moment. <laughs> so, really? Yeah. Wow. And, That's cool. And three of them are here, so. And uh, what is pretty cool about them is, obviously, it looks realistic. Right. It, it, it looks pretty cool, right? And then uh, the wings are like strong but flexible. See, you can fold this. Yeah. There, there, there will be other flying fish lures on the market, but that's hard PVC. They break all the time. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, there we go. And in, inside the body, they are interconnected like this. So you can see they are interconnected like this. And you have these pegs that stick down here. So that is hidden. Well, to be honest with you, so we, we really a solid way of building it and putting it together, right? Which is what you want. Sometimes we drive our colleagues crazy. But in the end, there's Nash in there. All right, guys, so here I have Nick Smith with me. He is the uh, designer of the original Duratec Toad. But there's some changes coming, so... Co-designer, co-designer. Co I can't take all the credit. Co-designer. So, I'm the guy that's like, I want it this way, I need it. I was the co-designer complainer guy. That's me. So, now Savage Gear has come out with the Tough Toad. So, Nick is going to go ahead and go and, you know, explain it. It's like Duratec Toad Part 2. Basically. Yeah. yeah. All, right. So, all right, so check it out, guys. The original Duratec Toad, if you haven't fished it already, you know it's like indestructible plastic right there. We called it the Duratec because that was our formulation of plastic, that really, really strong stuff. But there was a few things, okay? People were like, the hook kept sliding out, okay? So in the original, in that cavity, there was no cross ribbing. So now there's this little mesh, and it's gonna be really hard to see it on the camera. But now when I slide it out, you'll see little plastic break off the end of there. There's like a little membrane. Like I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but you'll see a little membrane hanging on to that hook. So essentially when you tech expose, it's gonna prevent your hook from sliding. Because you know this frog skips a country mile. Another thing people are like, dude, the nose is a little bit thin, so we made it a little bit longer to where it could hold up to a little bit more use and abuse. This is an easy 30 fish per frog deal. Everyone said, dude, it only has one hook in the package. Fixed, fix that problem. And everybody said, well, dude, like half the time it lands upside down. New hook, beefier. This is 20 pounds stronger. And look at that hard bend in the neck right there. That hard bend is to keep that bait pegged up there tighter. So when you look at this, no more bead, no more catching algae. You got a stouter hook, you got three of them. We even improved on the feet to make them stickier. In slower moving speed, you can even get more kick. So not only is it the best skipping thing, they hang on to it longer than everything else. Anyone can skip it. You got a superior hook, you got three hooks. We even got new colors, guys. If you haven't checked out the Tough Toad yet, it literally just came out, so get on it. Yeah. Those are the new colors. Let's check out that hook, bro. Yeah, that first thing I noticed was that bend. I was like, really? Uh-huh. That's sick. Yeah. I said we need it custom. Yep. Mm -hmm. What did you think? That's probably the only hook that's like that. Me oh, yeah. being the snakehead fisherman so and cool. Snack I'm so called. That's a game changer. Me. Seriously, yeah. game changer. So yep. excited to see that. You guys see it first. The new Tough Toad. 
Get them on switch snacks. Yeah. All right, guys. Wherever. This is the Deviator oh, yeah, we're, we're, we 140. We're affiliated with these guys. Yeah, yeah. So you guys distribute to us, and then we what go and catch fish. <laughs> 14 centimeters, 70 grams. No, but this is going to be legit for yeah. sure. This is a $14 bait, guys. I mean, that. $14, it's one piece. You can't find glide baits that are above five inches that are one piece nowadays. Here you go, seven inches, $14, affordable, beautiful, and I bet you it's gonna be effective. Coming in in September. And look, all the colors here as well. And this one's kinda got like a matte finish to it, which is really nice. I'm not sure how that'll hold up, but it looks good, so. from Savage Gear. Internal vibration. Yep. Mads is going to go ahead and uh, show us it yeah. in the pool. Have you seen the dirt? Wow. No that's, way. Cool. That, that's crazy. And then you think just kill it. Yeah, that's crazy. So this bait that we're looking at is the Savage Gear Freestyler 160. And this is another one piece uh, style glide bait. And as you can see, I got something for it right here. It's got sick action, and something that's actually really, really innovative about this bait is that it has an internal vibrator. <laughs> All the gizzards in there. That's my, that's mine right there. My favorite color gizzard. Look at these arrows. The snake. I'm pretty sure they already have one. Okay, we're back again at the Savage Gear booth, product testing the 10 inch line through gizzard. Oh, that's the gizzard here. And this thing, look at that. You guys oh, have already seen oh. Shiner, guys. On it. This thing is freaking awesome. Really? It, it's live bait. Fantastic. Really? Yeah, the gizzard is by far probably my favorite, honestly. Seven and a half? I guess. 165. This is the Panic Popper. Familiar with this? Yeah. We carry this. Well, we carry the original. Yeah. So Vince is going to test out the uh, new popper from Savage Gear. Hey, you already know what I'm thinking with this. Yeah. Black tips right here. That's what, oh, really? what I'm thinking. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Distance 26.53 yards. Max casting speed 69.79 miles per hour. Current reel out. speed 4.09 miles per hour. Average reel speed 3.77 miles per hour. Average reel speed 38.07 miles per hour. This is this is what I want to be thrown for black tips. Casting distance 7.92 yards. That's what I like. Max casting speed like. 81. Yeah. Point So what do you think, Vince? I love it. I love it. It's heavy. It's going to have good casting distance. And the terminal tackle, which is really what matters, because I used to change my hooks out a lot. Terminal tackle looks super beefy. Because if I'm going shark fishing, I need hardware like this. 100%. 100%. What do you think, Kevin? This thing chugs a lot of water. Yeah. Obviously, you can be able to cast these a mile. These come, like Vince was saying, that he, we used to change the terminal tackle on these. These split rings and these these hooks, these are just going to be plug and play. Take it out the box, tie it on, catch a shark. Pretty cool. And what is this, the three inch? This is a three and a half inch panic popper by Savage Gear. Check that out. Yeah, very nice. It's going to be interesting. I've never used a small popper like this. Oh, that's yeah, a true bass. I've done it with bass. 41st casting distance 9.24 yards. Max casting speed 45.10 miles per hour. Average reel speed 5.99 miles per hour. 
40 second casting distance 7.38 yards. Max casting speed 25. It's interesting. Yeah. Average wheels. I'll show you guys the new line through products. jig heads. They're getting a little discount baits. and then they're getting more and more is getting a little something out of it too. And then you know for you maybe as an organizer maybe you can take a pro step for pricing or something like that. that there isn't another swim bait like this guys. I mean you feed your leader through that hole, right? Bring it out through the slit in the soft plastic. And then you tie your leader onto your hook and all you do is insert the hook back into the soft plastic push it through and your knot will sit in that hole right there then you try to pull your leader up and then you're rigged up and ready to go so when that fish that tarpon snook whatever it is grabs a hold of your swim bait this is going to deploy and especially with this being like a, i believe this is like a two ounce um, jig head it won't be able to use the leverage of the weight of this lure to spit the hook so you're gonna save yourself a lot of heartbreak with these are in our jig heads so these uh these are out you can buy them from rnr.com they've got other sizes as well i believe this is like a five inch and this is a three inch so you could definitely get a lot of value out of these, especially because there's nothing else like this on the market. So here we are at the G-Rat booth with Garrett, and he has in his hands the Sneaky Pete, and we're also yeah. taking a look at the 10-inch Papa Pete. Check and out, these guys. are some awesome, awesome fly baits, guys. And why don't you tell us just a little bit about them? All right, so our Sneaky Pete is eight inches long, 2.4 ounces. One thing about our baits that separates aside other glide baits is we build our baits with heavy duty components. This has heavy duty 180 pound line tie, 160 pound rotating hook hangers. We got an inserts that are 180 pound. We got a heavy duty pin. We make it with seven interchangeable tails. So you got the tails in seven different colors. When they are sold, they're sold with a beefy, they're sold with a beefy, one aught hook that's an actual st66 style hook on it so you don't have problems with bending your hooks out the baits sink about you know there's about a rate of fall eight and that's about a rate of fall three I that's love a clevis that's the only glider out there that's clevis to clevis i love this joint that joint right there that's heavy duty it's very light too what is this weight? that weighs only four and a half ounces it's very light for its size same as the draw mm -hmm. Have you thrown awesome. one of these, Josh? I've seen that. They're really good, and they're I bunch would of love they're, to get they're friendly. What's the, what's the retail price on the? So those the retail feet? for fifty four ninety nine for a ten inch bait. That for is a ten awesome. inch bait, and these retail for thirty five ninety nine. Awesome. And you, we do that so the customer has the ability to make it like this or like this, and I'll tell you how that's done. So right here on our center skirt, you just kind of open the bait out right there. And you see we got a big hook keeper, right? Yeah. So you're gonna need to pull the rubber grommet down and out and away from it. And then once you do, do that, you slide it right over the grommet. Oh, and I then, see what's happening And then here. what's gonna happen here, and you can put any skirts you want on these, obviously. Then that skirt's gonna come out. And then once your skirt comes out, you can take it and slide your rubber grommet to one end. Okay, so the, there's more hanging down on it, right? And then you take this skirt, and what I like to do is kind of alter it, pull it up through the grommet a little bit. And here's what they look like without, without the, skirt. the skirt. So what you're doing is you're going into these yeah. Like uh, skirt keepers, I guess you yeah, call them? Yeah, skirt keepers. See, it's gonna go under it right now. Yes. See it? And then you just push it like that with your finger. And then you go Ball real, point pen time. And, and I then get you it, go, boom. it makes perfect and now, sense. And now it's on. I see now. See okay. right there, boom. 
and then you just kind of adjust it to how you like it laid out. You know, you see it it's getting kind of coming together with a good little bluegill profile. I keep pulling it because there's still some skirt material tucked up there. There we go. So there's there, three there. skirts really that yes. come with it. I so got now it. this is it's now when you get it like this. Like so this is when I'd add a trailer to it because now you got that hook all open and you can just thread a trailer right on down it. You know. Perfect time to add the trailer. What's the um, what's the depth range on so this? So it's a rate of fall five. Okay. It'll sink, you know, 30 feet. It'll sink five feet. I like fishing a lot of it, like less than 10, 15 feet, fishing around pilings. It's wood, a lot of what I do for snow. Man ground. more shallow. Yeah, super shallow, like less than 10 and stuff. Yeah. Under docks, around wood, under mangroves, whatever you would like. Yeah. Just kind of slow roll. Them. Stop, start, stop, start. I've been having issues with my service in here too. So many cell phones in one area. What's the, is this the same thing? Quantity of six per color? Same deal? Yep, same, same deal. What's MSRP in these? Those are 1299. 12? Okay, yeah. up to 13. Yeah, yeah that's you're like money. 844 your way. Okay. Sure. Yeah, 13, 13, 99, whatever. Um, hang on, come on. Here we go. Oh, they're getting. Well, that was, that was here. Yeah, yep. Back, this is last year. Last year, yeah. This yeah. Bay right there, like that's just wild. Yeah. I like it like that to be quite yeah, honest. Totally, totally. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah. Get off the tray. We're probably gonna get these too, man. I, I like these. So what do you think, Vince, overall? I'm a big fan of this. This is unique, this is innovative. Different. This is not something I've really seen. Yeah. Uh, like a swim jig, crank down style of bait combo. I like this. This is unique. I'm gonna have to get my hands on these for sure. No question. Nice, man. Yeah, dude. Hey, well Vince, nice meeting you guys. What's up guys, Jake Maddox, we're at the Shimano booth at ICAST 2023. This is the Arma, Arma joint. So basically, this is a swim bait that we've had out for a year now. It's called the Arma joint because of the Arma boost technology. Basically what that is, is this system right here, the bait folds completely in half to allow more aerodynamic casting ability. So a lot of other swim baits, they like a helicopter in the wind, it's hard to cast. If you wanna make fish it very close to cover and make the right cast, it's hard to do sometimes with bigger swim baits. This bait allows you to do that, better casting ability, has these hooks, um, these hook keepers right here where you just hit the eye of the hook and put it, place it right in there. Um, holds the hooks, so the hooks don't tangle on itself whenever you're making this cast. Has an elastic tail, um, so just keep it out of the sun, out of direct sunlight and uh, keep it away from other plastics and you're good to go. It comes with one extra tail. Um, but new for ICAST 2023, we have a, a slow sink. So this is our low float now. Now we have a slow sink. Basically what that is, is it goes about a foot per second. So if guys are wanting to fish it on a ledge down on the bottom, want a live scope with it over you know open water brush piles, stuff like that, or even just fish it faster, you're able to do that now. So the bait still weighs around two ounces. So it's not super big to where you can't throw it on conventional gear so you can still fish it you don't have to have a specific swim bait rod to fish this but if you are looking in the market for a new swim bait rod we have some really cool ones especially some close quarters swim bait rods which is kind of like a new thing and uh Shana is kind of the forefront of that we have some seven three heavy swim bait rods to make this accurate cast magrath and these baits around docks around anything like that it allows the perfect tip to work the bait and uh you know we've got five different colors uh, it's got the flash boost technology as well so it'll sit there and shake so if you've got a follower has an extra kind of enticing factor to it to you know turn those followers into buyers so really cool bait out from Shimano. And that thing comes in, uh, is that six inches or seven? Uh, I believe it's six. Six and a quarter, I believe. Sweet. And it comes in one size? One size for right now. Uh, Two variations. I'll just answer. Yeah, we do, yep. So okay. the other one is going to be a low float. So it's going to float, and then when on the retrieve, it's going to be a low uh, flow, probably. For two to two and a half foot probably yeah, is the deepest you can get it without weighting it. So there was a market for this bait. Guys were modifying it, making it putting you know extra lead, tungsten drilling holes, all the you know stuff that swim bait guys do. And we just yep. wanted a bait that out of the package you could do that with. So the new armor joint, slow sink. Oh yeah, care there. Care there. Uh, yeah. Like it. All right, guys. So we got a, a peacock bass glide bait. I wish Kevin saw this, he would love it. Jiminy Cricket up here. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jose here with Casking, and I'm holding the Fish IQ glasses. 
Fish IQ glasses are a polarized lens. They go on here, but they're part of an entire ecosystem. They have a speaker on here. The speaker, you can play music, you can do your phone calls, noise counseling, everything, it hooks up to your phone. But the biggest thing that this is part of, like I said, it's an ecosystem, is it is part of the iReel. The iReel is the first intelligent reel to hit the market. It's our pride and joy, our flagship. This actual reel has two microprocessors inside of it. Those two microprocessors are going to give you data, analytics, number of casts, casting distance, speed of cast, and your retrieval speed. So a lot of people ask, why is that going to be important? Well, through the app, you have weather, you have your GPS location, and you have all of that analytics. So think about it. Old school anglers, and even some a lot uh, younger guys, they'll journal. They'll write there in that journal what I caught, what the weather was, everything I was doing. Well, instead of having to do that, get your paper out, do a journal, why not utilize the computer that's already in your, uh, everyone has in their pocket, and that's your smartphone. So the app works incredible, but it takes it even a step further than that with the app. Because a lot of anglers might say, I'm not going to have my phone out while I'm fishing. But what they are going to have is a smartwatch. So even with the Casking application, I don't know if you all can see that, it has all of the information that you're trying to put out here on your watch. And it's live. It's an entire ecosystem. Between your phone, between your watch, between the glasses, you'll be able to intelligently change the way you fish. And the worst part is, if you ever get What the van saw be? When 200 goes, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Good. Don't worry about it. Okay. How would things go? This feels like a <laughs> Much smoother than mine. Uh, very very smooth, now, well, yeah. right? And yeah, a lot why. smoother. When we went to the unibody, uh -huh. that's a titanium sleeve that's in the inside there. So it's also got an additional nitride coating on it. Yeah. So it increases the lubricity. Okay. So under load when you're turning that, mm -hmm. that traverse guide is traveling across that and it's much smoother operation. Okay. So we were also able to get rid of the uh, three screws that held the foot on before, so now it's just a one piece. So feel the way Damn, that feels like nothing. Right. And that's 6061 mm -hmm. T6 aluminum, not a trade oh, aluminum. Yeah, this is like weightless completely. That is real. They, I know van stalls like in the past have been a little bit rougher, but they're very smooth now. I mean, yeah, it's this is it's impressive how like how smooth it is now. Before it was a lot rougher. You said they have a new Lexus. Oh, uh, Alright, so this is the new Daiwa Lexus. Yeah. Oh yeah, hold on. We gotta get a look at this. Hey Mark! This is a huge reel, dude. This is the 6.3 Lexus 400.
It really takes some like, effort to engage the. Really? Yeah, I like that though because you could be slinging baits and it like, trips and you don't want the trip. So like, it, it requires some umph to get it going. It's not that easy. What's so special about this? It's too much Whereas with the tranks, it's just like you touch it and it engages, but this it requires a little more effort. Main features between is that they re they revamp the clutch system. Okay. So that if you're throwing heavier swim baits or bigger right. jigs and stuff, it doesn't click. Well, doesn't trip. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That, that's what I was just saying. Um, the tranks, it's very sensitive. So when you're, you're casting, it'll trip. But with Alexa, um, I know that the older one as well had this I, something similar where it didn't trip as easily. Yeah, and the old, the newer, this newer one has a different paddle handle. If you look at it, it's yeah. much bigger. Yeah, I know. So I, I, hey guys, uh, my name is Chris Kane. I'm with Baits Fishing Company. We're out at Dallas, Texas. We're a real manufacturer, starting to get our name out there with some of our products. So let me show you a little bit of what we got going on. Uh, so all of our casting reels are going to start with our frames, which begin as a solid block of bar stock aluminum. They go through a multi-stage cutting process until you get down to our finished frame. And then we kind of build in and around that frame uh, with a lot of custom parts that are unique to us. So we manufacture our own gears. We have a lot to do with the bearings that go in our reels and how they're finished and composed. Uh, we manufacture and, uh, and CNC mill all of our own crank arms. And uh, so really what we're trying to create is just a really high end, but affordably priced fishing reel. Uh, it's important, I think, for us to say that in our class of reels, which would be low profile bait casting, uh, casting reels, we're the only manufa manufacturer currently that is manufacturing in this way from bar stock aluminum straight into a CNC machine frame. Uh, our reels come in a variety of colors, gear ratios with different components. Uh, so we've got everything from a 6-3 to 1 gear ratio in our A reel, which has a copper anodized finish, a carbon fiber crank arm, EVA foam grips, uh, all the way up to our salty reel, which is going to have titanium crank arms. It's got custom cork. Um, and then we also beef up this reel internally with a lot of stainless steel components. And then we kind of have everything in between. We've got Rosa, which is pink, El Jefe, the boss down there, and then the Goat, which is our most popular model. We'll reach and grab this real quick, fellas. So this is the Goat. Uh, we've got guys fishing the redfish circuit, guys catching bear Monday, guys deep jigging for cod with this reel and, and kind of everything in between. It represents all of what baits fishing and manufacturing is about with a clear anodized finish to give you a good look at that metal aluminum frame. Uh, and then for this year, debuting at iCast, this is a slightly smaller frame. This is the Hundo. It is a 100 size frame. Uh, it features our new dual braking system. We call it the matrix system. So it's a combination of centrifugal and magnetic, magnetic brakes working against each other to give you a really great casting experience, even in high winds or with the lighter lines and lures. Uh, this reel is also going to feature a proprietary gum rubber that we've used for the grips. It comes in right at five ounces and still uh, gives you as an angler about 14 pounds of drag. Uh, it's available in left and right hand retrieve and in seven to one and eight to one gear ratios. So this is kind of who we are as baits fishing and what we have to offer. If you've never heard us before, you can check us out online. We're at baitsfishingcompany.com. So check us out, make an order. We'd love to serve you. specialize in the big bait game right now you know that market's been really good to us we have a uh, we have a full lineup of conventional bass rods as well but uh, I can't say enough about our big bait range you know what I mean um, our Omega series is kind of our main bread and butter uh, designed for hard treble baits you know like glides wakes swimmers things like that um, but we also have our soft swim series these incredible aluminum real seats that's and like the, so nice the rat, and hand wrapped it, grips, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Um, but that's for like your, your jig hook soft bait citizens, okay. huds, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, and then this guy, which is the uh, the three piece Omega travel oh, rod. Wow. Yeah, it's rated up to six ounces. Really? Yeah, yeah. So it's that's it's a full blown big swim bait rod, yeah. but it breaks down. 
you know. Yeah, like, so yeah, yeah, yeah please. Dude, look, look how beautiful they are. I mean, that that's like. We did. What uh, what would you be throwing on that rock? So, for example, the Savage Gear um, Glide Swimmer. Okay. Or the Shine Glide or the Jackal. Yeah, Shine Glide's really great bait for yeah. its price, dude. Is, yes, that was one of my first glide baits. Yeah. I still throw it yeah, in the regular. It's a, it's a really great glide. Um, but we wanted some, so I have the Mojo Muskie, right? Not good for these treble baits because there's no load. Right? No. It's too stiff. Yeah. That you snow pull that treble out, right out. Right out the out. You yep. set the hook, it's coming right out. Yep. So I was like, what can we, what rods can we find? That what size, what size glides? Uh, eight seven inch, and seven and a half, eight inch. Seven, um, probably about four or five ounces, yeah. you think? Uh, well, a little bit, man, maybe like four. Take three, a look at this. This, is, uh, this rod is our Omega Extra Heavy. We actually built this around the Depths 250. Uh, so that's kind of to give you an idea of where the baseline is there. I like this um, Otherwise, once you're done with that, I check out the heavy as well. This one's rated just a little bit lower. Okay. Um, this one's rated to six ounces. It's actually the, the rod that this is based off of. This one's rated up to eight. Eight, yeah. So it's kind of like a, they're pretty similar, um, but obviously, like it's, it's really about what are you throwing most. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I mean, I like to throw, of course, the glide baits, um, yeah. the jackal, gantrel. I'm sure you know what that is. Um, it's a lot of treble baits. Yeah, treble yeah. baits. Um, I like the mag drafts as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just love big swim baits. I mean, and you know, I love bass and I love snook. So right on. snook really like glide baits. A lot of people don't know that. Um, it has a lot of drawing power. So I really, I really am looking for something. The Dobbins is, is great and all, but I feel it's too light, you know. And yeah, one hundred percent. One of these right. is gonna do it for you because these are. While we designed these for bass and like glide baits and wake baits for largemouth freshwater fishing. For instance, Eric, the founder, he's taking these out on the coast, and he's landing a mako on one of them. Wow. Yeah, straight up, straight up. <laughs> so, I mean, if that tells you anything about yeah. going from bass to snook, or tarpon, or whatever, you know. Just look at that, dude. This, these are, this is more than, oh, this is more than just a rod. This is like art. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at it, dude. Like, from the grips, like, all the way down the rod. Look at that. I mean, it's beautiful. What's like the price point? So retail starts at about three thirty nine ninety nine, okay. and it kind of goes up from there depending on model, power, you know, things right. like that. Um, but that that's kind of the range that we're sitting in right now. Do you guys have a warranty or anything like that? Yeah, limited lifetime warranty. So any manufacturer's defects or anything like that, one hundred percent, we're gonna get you taken care of. We also offer uh, no questions asked incidental warranty. Okay. Um, where like step on your rod, throw it in the, you know, the, the, the lift gate of your truck or whatever. We can get you set up with a new one at 50% off of retail. We're only going to do that's that fair. once that's per fair. order. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's but, fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, we're not going to ask any questions. Right. You, you just tell us that you need to do that, and we're going to get you set up. No, I'm, I'm glad I got to see them in person because I took a look yeah, at man. them online. And, dude, it, it's more than just a rod. I mean, I love when companies go above and beyond, they make their rods I love hearing nice you say that, man, like, because it's such a big deal to us. Like, of course, like, functionality is super important, but, like, form, man, right. like, like, that's the first thing that people see, exactly, right? Yeah. So, um, at the end of the day, like, we really appreciate that. That's no, awesome. probably, we appreciate you, and yeah, you guys are doing course, great man. things. And Thank you, you and Thanks so much. Yeah. Check out these landing glass rods, yo. Oh, those are nice. Those are very nice. Three to eight. I'm not sure. I don't think they have a price on them. But if you online, they're very nice rods, though. I, mean, I know they're good quality. Loosen the brakes, buddy. There goes half your line right here. Watch this. Where's your line? My oh, buddy is getting smoked. Jesus Christ. Hi. Uh, get, get, get him to 30. Ah, uh, there you go. Go crank, 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 crank. Oh no 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 <laughs> no! Dude, it's painful. It's not fun anymore. You can do it.
You're halfway there. You can quit. So I've heard about these guys before. This is Toadfish. Uh, I, I think they specialize in like travel. Uh, they're, they're, yeah, they they're like a newer like brand for yeah. saltwater fishing. Yeah. They're definitely interesting. I mean, look at that. Your your rod is fitting in that tube right there. You could you could take that on a plane, take it in the car, whatever it is. I mean, that's that's very nice, very appealing, especially for anglers out there that, that love to travel the water and fish. Look at the thermoses and such. And they got reels as well. They got bait casters, they got spinning reels. They were spinning reels. This is a new product from St. Croix. This is a Mojo Bass, okay, with a pistol grip on it. Um, I'm not sure what bass these guys are, are pulling out, but that's interesting. I mean, this is, I mean, it's a, it's a swim bait rod, of course. Uh, it's a uh, four to eight ounce, um, kind of similar to the Mojo Muskie, which is on the other side here, which is a uh, three to eight ounces. I'll give you guys a look at that. So yeah, that one right there in the purple. That's what I use um, for snook and tarpon. Uh, it's pretty stiff. That's the only complaint about it. I guess so. Shimano's got their rods all set up. Got some shoulder rods, offshore stuff. Yeah. Tear mark. It's huge. Six to ten ounce rod. That's crazy. I know Shima, oh, I know Shima makes some great rods, yeah, the Zodius. I've heard a lot of great things about these rods. I never tested them really myself. But I've heard they're very, very good. Oh, uh, the SLX rods, right? Yep, SLX rods, can't go wrong with those. These are inflatable kayaks. Just carry it wherever you go. Yeah, that's awesome. That's crazy. That, yeah, that's they're, they're light, right? Yeah. Look at that, bro. Put some bait in here. I like this paddle holder. Yeah. You're just paddling, paddling, and then you go up and down. Good luck to the car. Art Oh, dude, this is sick, but inflatable. I don't know. Yeah, no, this is a, dude, this is perfect, honestly. This is this is absolutely perfect. How much are they? Or oh, like the tent? No, this is. That's what I want to ask. This is, what this is from Bottle. Stand up. Yeah, I know. I got a lot. Look, they even have chairs. Like, that's crazy. Trampoline. Tables. Tables, chairs. Check out this road, y'all. Crazy. Sick of rods back there. So she said, this one's 1400, 1400, 2200. Very pricey, but this is interesting, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is some right there. Uh, this one? Uh, 13. 13. Yeah. 13. Yeah. It's cheaper than that one. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and uh, it was really a blessing to be able to go I mean to some people it may not be that serious but when you're so dedicated to you know the sport and the industry and everything that goes along with it it's it's a good feeling you know when when you're in a room with so many like-minded individuals and you get to try all the new products before anyone else can see them and it's, it's a great experience and I really recommend um, if you're serious about you know this industry that you should go um, but yeah big thank you to snook snacks and uh, those guys for allowing us the opportunity to be at ICAST because if it wasn't for them we wouldn't be going so big thank you to snook snacks big thank you to all the booths and you know all the companies at ICAST for making it what it was uh, big thank you to Savage Gear Leviathan Rods a um, bunch of other guys out there that uh, gave us some little things, gave us some freebies, and let us try out their products. So it's always a great thing. You know, iCast is more than just them trying to sell you something. It's an experience, like I said before. Um, there's so many things that go along with it. You get a bunch of free stuff. I mean, everyone loves free stuff. You get a bunch of free stuff. You get to try out new products. You get content before anyone else. You know, it, it's a it's a great opportunity. And I, I really wish that everyone could have the chance to at least visit it once. Yeah. Thank you again so much for watching. This is Anthony, 1954 Outdoors. I'll see you guys in the next one.